Almost 112 years ago to the day, the Titanic struck an iceberg, broke apart, and sank to the bottom of the ocean, taking the lives of 1,500 passengers and crew. 706 people survived that tragedy, a story that will continue to be shared through their experiences. A local woman keeping the legacy of her great-great-grandmother alive. She was one of those survivors. Kelly Bortner has released her story, Titanic, Jesse, and Lifeboat Number 9, The Untold Story. And she is here with us today. Thank you so much for being here, Kelly. Thank you so much for having me. So let's talk about the journey to this book. It was a very, very long one. Um, lots of family help. Yes. <laughs> um, and, and why you want to share it? <clears throat> yes, thank you. Um, it's really a passion, <clears throat> excuse me, of our family to have the story told. Because up until now, it's just been lost to history. And nobody else has written it in my family in 112 years. So I felt like, okay, I had to get that out there. If I hadn't written it, my children probably wouldn't have. So um, it was really important for us to get that out. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and as far as the journey, I, um, it's probably been about 20 years and three different attempts at writing it. So I'm really excited to have it out there and released and have it available for everyone to read. I, I bet. 20 years. That's a long time. And, and obviously, writing a book is, is no easy <laughs> task. Um, and let's talk about some of the stories that people will hear, some of the stories of your great-great-grandmother um, on the Titanic. Yes. So it's... The book spans all of the information up to the Titanic, so there's a lot of really interesting um, things that happened that had to happen in place for her to be on the Titanic. She wasn't supposed to be. Oh, gosh. So it is the backstory up to the Titanic, her experience during the sinking. It uh, talks through all of the people she met and the people she knew and recognized on her lifeboat. Um, and it, then it talks about what happens after the Titanic for her. So. You know, for a lot of books, you just hear about the tragedy and you don't know what happened, where it, it, it goes through the whole thing of what happened after. So it's, it's really an amazing story of God's grace and hope through all of these tragedies and ending up she had a great a great life at, afterwards. Yeah, I mean, because it's such a prolific event and so <laughs> everyone knows about it. But, you know, it's, sometimes you don't think, yeah, there are 700 plus people who, you know, got, got yes. out of that survived it and they all have their own story before and after yes and this is just one yes i yes. mean that's that's pretty impactful stuff yes our family feels at least i i know i do i feel a little bit of that survivor guilt even though i wasn't there because there's about 130 different people that are alive now all of her descendants and my family that wouldn't have been had one person not got on the ship Every life matters. For people who don't think they matter, they matter. Not just now, but for generations <laughs> later. Right, absolutely. Yeah, I, that's, a, so that's a good takeaway, right? <laughs> yeah. um, and, and so you have a lot of events coming up yes. um, to promote this book, and people can meet you and talk to you and, and do a one-on-one. -on -one. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I have tonight at Schuler Books at 6.30. I have um, a presentation, a QA, and a and book signing. Okay. And then on the 18th, I'm at Books and Mortar for a book signing. Love that. Love supporting our, our local bookstores. Yes. Wonderful. And, and so what else do you hope people take away from this book after reading it? I really feel that um, the book is about God's grace and hope in someone's life. So I'm hoping that they see that in Jesse's story and they can see that in their own through all, all that she went through. Yeah, absolutely. So did you did you meet her? Had you met her at all? Um, <clears throat> I did not meet her okay. because she'd already passed away when uh, I was born. Sure. But I, I knew my grandmother who was her daughter. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and so interesting in how those stories get passed down. And yes. thank goodness, you know, you put it to pen to paper. Because oh, yes. as you said, th those, that story probably would have been lost. Yes, and she did three different interviews, so it's in her words, okay. <clears throat> as far as her experiences. And then um, we have uh, interviews that we've done of, like, her sister when she was in her 90s, back in the 90s. My sister did some research on it and was able to talk to her um, before she passed. And then we have family emails, stories, all that good stuff. So I just wanted to put on one long story for everybody to, to share it with all. Wonderful. Okay, so you could obviously get the book mm -hmm. at Books and Mortar, at Schuler. Yes. Um, and then, of course, there's those events coming up. There's one tonight, and then coming up on the 18th, and, and then Titanic Con 24. That sounds kind of interesting. Yes, I am a general session speaker at okay. Titanic Con 24 in Pigeon Forge in August, so you okay. can see me there too. There you go. All right, Kelly, thank you so much for being here and thank for sharing you. your story with us. Really we appreciate, appreciate it. it. There you go.